Bloomington, Indiana. Stop number one of 14 on our 19-day swing through Big Ten country. I've said from day one, I mean, having the opportunity to lead the program that I grew up rooting for has been a dream come true for me. We got two moves on a bus, which is amazing to me. Uh, I think we should have a bed in here. If you guys could come every day, because we seen the practice, we took it to a whole nother level. They saw, they saw the, the number, they saw the logo on the shirt and the cameras. So come out every day. We'll, we'll be, do what we, we can. You've been one of the most discussed players in college football. How do you focus on the task at hand and kind of put all that stuff out of your mind? Um, you really just got to keep your head down, don't listen to the outside voices, and just work. The guy that's coming on, like gangbusters, is Zach Charbonnet. He's a freshman, so we're <laughs> But, okay, moving on. Uh, but I love him. I love him. Nebraska quarterback Adrian Martinez there. He joins us now along with wide receiver J.D. Spielman. Guys, yeah, that's J.D. there at the end. See, here's why, though. Swim, well, swim is exactly. Who knows how to? So? I might form into a bed. Gotta have a kitchen. What the bathroom look like? Oh, that's a closet. For one game, our homecoming game, we're gonna break out special uniforms that will be released here at the end of the month. I think are gonna be really cool, uh, not only for our players, but our fans, and it's gonna be something people talk around about around college football, because it's gonna be a uniform that's never been done before. The kitchen, I would want my own stove. Just so if I'm, if I'm able to, I can cook something in here. Um, I have all the snacks everywhere. I don't even know how you open this thing. From a, a big picture standpoint, I, I just think we gotta have to continue to add competitive depth to continue to be a championship caliber team. And I, and I think we're gaining on that. We play at the University of Nebraska. We need high expectations. That's the way it is. That's part of the reason why we came here. Um, we should be winning. Um, but also, we have to earn it. The best thing we saw and Howard, I want to start with you. I have a strange sensation. I may know where you're going. <laughs> right there, <laughs> the Smith Football Center. In the middle of the room, what do you know? I had hair back then. I just think the quality of, of the league, top to bottom, stood out more than anything. There's no off weeks in this league. Every team can beat you if you don't play well. Oh, that's buckets. Come on, now. come on now, oh. come on now, come on now. You know, when you bring in a graduate transfer quarterback, you're expecting big things. Brandon Peters has been outstanding. I don't really set any expectations for myself, but as far as the team goes, um, I, think it's, I think it's time for us, you know, to start training upward and uh, doing what we can to win more games. Coach, could you give us some insight into the first 15 offensive plays <laughs> and formations? <laughs> uh, you are, we, we showed it. Thank you for everything you've done, Commissioner Delaney. All the best in your retirement. Thank you. Thank you. You got it. Unexpected, but appreciate it. Really appreciate you. How are things different given the fact that it is your program now? Going into this camp, obviously I had an opportunity to really, you know, spend time planning everything out. Last year, you know, we were kind of going day to day a little bit. He pretty much does everything well. <laughs> <laughs> is he the second best back on the team or? You the second best back. Oh, uh, I would right? say we pretty neck and neck. It <laughs> depends, on, depends on the day. Well, after 18 days and 3,752 miles That's it. on the bus, it's over, fellas. All right. I think we should celebrate by going and jumping in the lake. <laughs>